Assalamu alaikum. We're in Ghana, Accra, at the boutique hotel that we are staying uh, at. We've decided to have some tea. So the brother who is making us the tea here at the restaurant has a question. We decided to make a video of it because I want to hear what he has to say and respond. It's a very interesting one. Let's go. My brother, what's your name? Okay, my name is Hayford. Hayford, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, what is the question that you have? Okay, this my question is all that you've I mean, taught people, let's say one day, if we meet God, Yes. And God said, okay, all that you said about him yes. to people are right. But your people or the people that you spoke to them couldn't do exactly what you told them. Yes. What would be your feeling? What would I be feeling on yes. that day? Or what, yes. What, what, how will you feel that day? Wow. So I want to tell you the truth, my brother. Yes, uh, for me, I am just doing what I believe God Almighty wants me to do and guidance is in his hands. Okay. More than the results, I need to be worried about delivering the goods. Okay. So I will teach knowing that that's my duty and the guidance is in the hands of the Almighty. If they are rightly guided, I am the most happiest person. Okay. If not, at least my Lord is happy with the job I did. Okay. He will deal with them how he wants. You know, if he wants to have mercy, he will. And if he, whatever he wants to do, he can do. Okay. But uh, the Prophet, peace be on him, uh, imagine how he would feel uh, that I, I came and I taught the people and they didn't listen to me. So there is in the Quran a complaint of the Prophet, peace be upon him, who will complain to Allah that, Oh Allah, my people have not taken seriously this message and this word of yours. You know, Rasulu ya Rabbi inna hadha al mahjuran in Surah Al Furqan. So uh, it's something that. If it was me selling something and my own business, I would be very sad if I was unable to sell my product. But I will be happier if people are guided. But I will still be happy that I was allowed to convey the message. Because to be conveying the message, you need to have some acceptance from God to a degree. It's a very big responsibility. It's the duty of all of us. But uh, I think to ask me how I will feel, it's more important to know that I will feel happy to be used to have delivered the goods. That's more important. Inshallah, we will be happier if people accept and if people are going to follow. And if they don't, it's up to God Almighty. He will still be happy with the fact that you did. Okay. And one last thing for me, what's important is that I should practice what I preach. I should endeavor to be the best person. If I'm preaching, I should not be opposing what I say. Yeah. Many times you find many people, they preach one thing, they're doing another thing. Okay. So we should try to the best of our ability to do the right thing. Thank you. Is it a satisfactory answer? Yes, please. Okay. But I have one more question. Again. Ask me. After said and done, yes. what will you want to be remembered for? I would want to be remembered for a person who tried to convey the message of God to the people. That's what I want to be remembered for. Inshallah. And it's up to Allah Almighty, up to God Almighty to actually uh, give us and grant us a good remembrance after we die. So I pray that Allah does not allow us to sway. Some people do a lot of good things. At the end, they do one bad thing and they fall from fame or they fall from grace. We don't want to fall. May Allah protect us and our uh, dignity, our honor, our respect, mm -hmm. forgive our shortcomings and keep us going. So many people I hear of, even last week I heard of someone a guy was teaching goodness and then he did something which was so terrible that, you know, may Allah protect us from this. Amen. And may Allah use us to do a lot of good, my brother. Okay. Lovely to see you. Hey, for Yes, please. You are not Muslim. No, I'm not Muslim. Yes. yes. You are a Christian. Huh? Yes, please. But it's always nice to see you. Last time I came to Ghana, I met you, right? Yes, please. Yes. Thank you for making us good tea and uh, food and breakfast and everything in this beautiful place. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Shukran. You too.